Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam You're Allah's chosen one So whatever we do must be for the sake of Allah Let's not do it for a show Some people want to be, you know Showing people show-offs The show-offs, they don't get a reward They might achieve something temporary Temporary in this world but they won't get a reward for it. Sometimes it can lead to having engaged in an act of worship for someone else. You know, like when you have salah, sometimes this happens in the masjid and sometimes you notice it. And that is actually quite sad when a person is just reading salah and they're busy looking, you know, and they're not even concentrating. And next thing you see them standing cold because they notice you there. Quietly. That's very bad. That's very bad. We should be concentrating for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in salah. Why should it be because this man is here today that now we are? I remember once and this is true again. There was a man looking in salah. I actually greeted him and he greeted me back. <laughs> and as I passed, he realized he's in salah. So he shook his head. <laughs> Who are you saying no to me or what? You know, so try it. The next time someone looks at you in salah, just greet them. They will not look again. May Allah open our doors, grant us steadfastness. So we follow the path of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we do so sincerely. There are verses in the Quran that have already spoken about that. So many verses where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about this. Even the last few verses of Surah Al-Kahf where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Whoever is looking forward to the meeting with their maker, they should do deeds that are acceptable, meaning deeds that are taught by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and they should not associate any partners with the maker, meaning whatever they do, they need to be sincere in it solely for the maker. What a clear verse. Two valid points are made mention of for any deed to be acceptable by Allah, any act of worship I'm speaking about to be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are two rules or two conditions. The first is it needs to be sincerely for Allah. And the second is it needs to have been taught by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Very simple rule. And this is repeated in the Quran in so many places.